benefits of residual chemical on human health and environment are on the rise in Uganda. This has been attributed to unscrupulous conduct by agro-input chemical dealers in the value chain process. We noted that one of the challenges of the smallholder farmer, of the farmers, is access to quality inputs. Uh, there are a lot of fake inputs, uh, adulterated. When the chemicals are not handled safely, that's where you see uh, farmers not respecting the withdrawal period and you find chemicals within the harvested foods, fruits and vegetables and which is not good for people's health. One of the issues that has affected access to market is uh, poor quality inputs. Because of the poor quality inputs, farmers are not able to produce the right quality and quantity. So it can cause death. Besides death, most of these chemicals are causing cancer, uh, especially food or seeds or any other form of um, grain that has been affected by mycotoxins. A senior agricultural inspector at the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries and Animal Industry, Fred Muzira, says use of agrochemicals by untrained persons is criminal. If you bought and tried caught and convicted that you 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 illegally operating, uh, you pay. It's a description of the judge. The judge can choose to to award you a penalty of paying 120 currency points, okay, as per the law, which is about 2.4 million shillings, or imprison you for a term not exceeding five years, or both. Chiboga District Head of Production Team, Godfrey Sebulime, says many farmers have countered losses due to unsafe usage of agrochemical inputs. The key major challenge is that we have fake agro inputs on markets and then these shops for agro inputs are being run by unqualified staff who could not advise our farmers on what to do. So soon after this training, the Department of Production is going to strengthen its supervision, monitoring and inspection of all abroad input dealers to ensure that whatever they have learned from this training is adhered to, as in terms of registration and putting in place whatever is required of them. Tasakawa Africa Association Uganda, Makerere University and Ministry of Agriculture organized a training in Chiboga to control mishandling and adulterations of agrochemicals. The whole objective is to give these business people the skills, first of all to manage their business, but also to give them the skills for safe handling of agro of, of agro inputs and more important these people are from within the communities to bring the services closer to the farmers. We want to roll out this training to the lower levels as much as possible so that our farmers are able to benefit from this and our stockists are able to make money. So it's not a matter of training, but we want the stockists to make money, we want the farmers to make money, we want the big um, companies to make money, we want the government to expand the tax base. It was prompted as a result of uh, the, the, the cry from the smallholder farmers. Number one, you know, there are a lot of fake agrochemicals in the market. And even the agro input dealers themselves, they don't know how to identify them, that this is fake, this is the right uh, agrochemical to use. And that affects the amount of produce that goes to the market, both the quality and quantity. So we have to make sure that the, the, the agro input stockists are trained so that they are able to sell the right quality inputs and the right quantity to the farmers so that the farmers are able to produce more and be able to sell more to the market. Country Director Sasakawa, Uganda, Rosalind Nyamutale, advised agro-input dealers against unethical practices. So we really need to be exemplary. We've requested them also to make demonstrations in the field. They should be exemplary to the farmers, like even when they're harvesting, they should, not, they should also respect the, the withdrawal periods for, for, the, uh, for the chemicals. We uh, also call upon them to be professional and escort when they are doing their work. 
If they don't, then they may lose the certificate and then they also lose the business. Over 30 agro-input dealers who sat for Makerere University examinations were awarded certificates to enable them operate legally agrochemical shops. We've been handling chemicals but we didn't know the correct way to use the chemicals and how to apply them and we didn't know. We knew the, the effects of it on the environment but we had inadequate knowledge on how to manage the effects of the pesticides on the environment. The training is so useful because we are we are like we are sent to meet our to meet the farmers eh, that are that, that, that are down there. So we are going to give them one of our, our ideas we've acquired from this training. So now we've learned that we have to be putting those protecting protecting uh, and that we have to be putting those protective so that we can save our, our lives.